that burnt the f up my lips. All right, my done to the pole. Obviously, there's a longer story to this, but we're not gonna talk about it in this video. But we're gonna fix it in this video. So I hope you guys enjoy. Like always, make sure to like, subscribe, and share if you haven't already. Turn on post notifications. We're not sure what it is yet, but we're gonna update you guys as we go. Like I said, I hit a pole. I don't know. To be honest, it was raining. I thought, you know, I was gonna skirt skirt, and I didn't skirt skirt. We got my boy Jeffrey back in the building. Master text himself, bro. You guys seen him in the last video. If you haven't seen the last video, by the way, make sure to click, I don't know, one of these two spaces. I'll send you straight to the last video. I thought the brakes were gonna, you know, perform. <laughs> They're new type of but yeah. So, just so that you know, they did perform. They uh -huh. performed better than you're used to. Right. The problem was that they performed so well, they locked up your tire and then you slid. Exactly. So, they did perform. Honestly, I don't know, dude. I felt dumb as after. I was like, bro, I just fixed it. <laughs> the audio trying to share. As I was trying to turn, the wheels did lock up and they, you know, they weren't turning. The rain and the water, wet floors and all that sent me straight to the pole. But I'm alive. The bumper's good. It's just upstairs. Shout out Sosa. So I had to keep turning it manually, like, you know, because it kept getting stuck this way. Like right now, if I were to drive it, it's going to instantly it just, just turn. Instantly. And it locks right there. So we're looking at possibly ball joints, possible tie rod in. So I was able to actually drive it in, but it was like very slowly. Like very at But this one wasn't dragging or nothing, right? Nah, it was, it was actually going, but at one point it would just turn. <laughs> Another mother trying to get the spotlight. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 She's looking at you like this. It sounds like a personal problem. It sounds like a good way. That's what it sounded like. I gave you life. Lo más estoy diciendo de lo que pasó. Se le atravesó un poste, dice. Ni sabe dónde salió y se le atravesó un poste. Así andaba mi tío. Muchas de querer tu carro que lo estampas en un poste. Que no era la culpa de la lluvia. Like another camera far away, just like recording the whole thing, just looking at it like. There was a citizen like just chilling right there and bro just literally see me crash and based off his facial reaction I knew it wasn't that bad so I just backed up and I took my ass to work You seen worse? I swear <laughs> I don't know what it is kids your guys are age and, and this side of the car did the same thing too we took out the whole suspension shock control arm everything It's like the part of this part of the car that you guys can't see I took it to work right after that after you crashed. Yeah, then I had to run errands in LA. Like, I had to run errands in LA. So I took it, came you know, back, went, did a whole bunch of shit. That's Honda for you, baby. Bro, I yeah. swear. To and then the next morning, I, I'm going, do two right turns, and the third one, boom. And I was just like, damn, bro. What's this witness here? Huh? I'm not sure. Because I peed in some of these corners before. <laughs> so, um, have you checked your oil levels? No. Check your oil? How long has it been sitting? Oh yeah, since they. <laughs> so is this right here too? You see it? That's your tie rod in, buddy. Tie rod in. So tie rod in? Yeah. This is basically the part that was not allowing me to turn or to go nowhere. As you guys can tell, this is completely, look at that. I could damn near just slide it off. You can see the other part right here, where it was connected to, I'm assuming. And that's why I could not steer. <laughs> so it wasn't the axle, so we're gonna have to go return the axle and get some tie rod. Hopefully they got them in stock. It was recently done, so it shouldn't be. Take which one? To match it up? Yeah, inner and outer, or you just said uh, which one you yeah, need? Okay. Uh, I'll check the inner one to see right now. Alright, so right here on these ends, it's basically stripped. We're hoping that it's only stripped on this bolt and not on the bolt that's actually connected to the engine. Hopefully that bolt's not stripped, but this one definitely is. And also right here, it was kind of ripped. It seems like it was ready to go. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Maybe it was God sent. We're going to go to AutoZone. We're going to return this. Get my money back and we're gonna buy one of these hopefully that'll be it and if not we might have to buy more like subscribe and share appreciate y'all
Now we back up in auto zone, bro. We're gonna get into it again, bro, one more time. Fuck is that staring at, bro? Anyways, back at auto zone, bro. Inner and outer tie rods just to be safe. And we're gonna return the axle. So hopefully everything goes smooth, everything goes good. A few moments later. So what happened in auto zone is we had to investigate on some prices and some stock information. The outer tie rod, they had a cheaper option, which is only 20 bucks. And apparently, like, I think I'm out of talk to you guys about this, but I had a horrible experience with a mechanic shop on Anaheim or Redondo. I'm gonna give the address, but I'm not gonna give the name. There's a shop there that I had a horrible experience with and they actually did my inner and outer tie rod. And and when they did them, they used the same cheap ones that I literally just picked up from AutoZone. She actually did the favor of checking to see where else they had some in stock. And they have some down here on Downey. And they have it there for about 35 bucks. Right now, keep in mind, I'm just trying to get the car back on the road. So as long as it's driving good, you know, it's not like I'm about to be going crazy either way. You know, I, I definitely learned my lesson now. We're about 13 minutes out. Also, we had to rent a tool, Tamien, which was about $95. And I'll show you guys everything once we get there. But you need that tool in order to tighten the actual uh, inner tie rod. Thankfully, AutoZone had it in stock and they were able to let us rent it. It was $95 to rent it, but they're going to return it as soon as we return it. So hopefully everything goes good. Everything goes to plan. We go there, have a couple drinks, and I get the car ready so I could go to work tomorrow. Because it's been a while since I've been at work and I ain't trying to have them be on some bullshit. Hopefully, like I said, it is the inner and the outer tie rod and we'll be able to fix it tonight. I'll see you guys in a bit. A little longer than a few minutes later. So when we put it together, he's gonna have to go to your house. To look yeah. It. Well, either way, the boot is is held by zip ties, anyways. So I have zip ties at home. Well, I'll put it on there now. So uh, we made it back. We got the inner and outer tie rod. So it's looking good. Well, I have a little tool just like pumps it in there and shows oh, it all wow. up with that. So we will lube it now. Nothing's gonna happen, right? No. No, nothing's gonna happen right now. This is a tool that you will need if you're for some reason following along. So this guy slips in there, and this guy, once this guy slipped in here, and this guy slips there and then tightens it with a ratchet. So that nut goes out here. We're gonna have to figure out a way to separate this to count the spins just so we can be accurate on the distance. But you still have to get an alignment after this. I don't know how much alignments really go for. Well, alignments, the cheapest one with the tire rotations, because I need to do that too, was I think 135. So you have to figure out, you gotta Same count the spins. Same number everything, that's So fine. everything can be the, um, the right distance away. Mm. Or else it's gonna be pushing and pulling more than it needs to. But either way, we just, we try to get as close as possible. What happens too sometimes is your steering wheel will get crooked. That's exactly what happened. I had first thought that it was just an alignment I needed then. It happened before Tamien. I don't know why it happened back then, but it was, oh no, it was because of the same <laughs> on God damn it, because I just fixed this like not too long ago. You know how we were talking about how they didn't tie my lug nuts and all that? That was the fix I initially went for and that they f***ed up because they didn't tie shit. You should have sued. I, now looking back, I definitely should have sued. Oh God. But then that would have taken money from the lawyers and then time for the case. This still gives you money that you didn't have in the beginning. That's true. Or we ain't think about it now, but I'ma just say Anaheim and Redondo f them. What was the place called? Uh, that's a good question. It's right here on Anaheim and Redondo. I, I don't know. They're so irrelevant. You know, on Anaheim and Redondo, there's a McDonald's right there. No, 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 but I mean, it's the old. There's a Pollo Loco right there. That's yeah, right. Shout out to the Pollo Loco. Pollo Loco okay. is more down to Redondo. Wait, Redondo and PCH? No. That Pollo Loco is not right there by the T-shirt shop no more. It, it is right. Nice. Wait, wait, what T-shirts? Yeah, those are in the Walgreens. Walgreens, Tacos, Street. Oh, you're T-shirt right. shop, yeah, you're right. oil local. You're right, you're right. <laughs> you <laughs> my bad. My bad. It's looking promising. It's looking promising. Is it going in? Yeah. There you go. It's so, stopped. Uh, That's how you attach it? No. Give me a big one, huh? That's what she said. <laughs> Thankfully, so far right now, it's looking like we're not gonna have to do more than what we should. So that thankfully went in nice and snugly. This is looking good, bro. This is looking real good. So yeah. We just needed more power. More power, baby. Bro, it, it tightened. Meaning that it tightened and stripped. Oh, right, nice. Like, I'm gonna slip it, I'm gonna hold it, and you're gonna ratchet it. All right, bro. So you can tell your YouTubers that you did it yourself. Self-made. <laughs> Self-made millionaire. Is it open now? I'm gonna get down. Is that right? Perfect. That's it, baby. Let's go. Y'all see me get red? <laughs> you get a t-shirt. You don't know how lucky I am, bro. If it's raining, please don't go over 60. Let's follow the speed limit. 
Sick ass. With brand new. Two slotted break. Turn your L's into lessons. L's into lessons. Oh. That's why I'm like, you ever seen Jersey Shore? Mm-hmm. Mike the situation. <laughs> Jump in, hit the ignition a little bit, make the tire straight here. So once I put it together, I'll put it together with a straight tire. That's straight, no? I would hope so. Yes. It's, it's too hard judgment, gentlemen. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get it as close as possible this way, like that. Mm -hmm. So when we drop it in, it'll be as straight as possible. Wait, are we not to reuse the same pin? Can I yeah. throw away the pin? No, it's right there. It's, it's permanently yours. Those last longer than we do. Essentially, that part over there, that boot, is what basically snapped in half. Thankfully, it wasn't a bigger problem, to say the least, because it definitely could have been. Where their inner tire rod goes, if the inside of that was stripped, then this would have been But thankfully, everything's going good. So it's connected, and it's looking like we're finna be all right, guys. Look at those rotors. Brand new rotors in a the past car. A few moments later. Uh, Jeffrey the goat, like always, you feel me? You got the pin in, you got the outer and inner with the boot, you feel me? Got it all installed and right now, about to put on that tire and hope to God it all works out. Gotta make sure no light poles come out of nowhere. <laughs> I had a feeling from like the whole BMX. Had, you had a bad feeling? I had a bad feeling. I had a good feeling. I swear I was like fooling BMX. Sometimes you'll get lucky enough to where sh would just That's what I was telling cancel you, I was out. Like, sometimes some metals, they're made out of different metals and exactly. some are stronger than others. Mm -hmm. The easier replaced parts might be made out of a Little softer alloy. Shit, yeah. When I call my boy Olay, he started telling me that sometimes people will do the job, well picture us. Right. We do the job, we have no means of getting that tool that we need. So I'm gonna go in there with those same pliers that we just tightened the outside with, get in there and just tighten it as best as I can. I did find that crazy though, I was like, $95? Well, if you looked on Amazon, the one I sent you, for you to buy this tool was 55 bucks. Oh shit. There you go. Is that one of those ones that stop and click? No. Nah. It's just a breaker bar. Those torque wrenches? They make you feel safe. So basically after the clip you guys just saw, I obviously wanted to test out the car, make sure that we put everything, you know, the correct way. We tighten things or whatever. So we decided to go to Jack in the Box. Now on the way to Jack in the Box, I'm noticing that there's some smoke coming out the hood. I'm not thinking of the worst possibility yet. So we end up getting to the Jack in the Box and usually when I get to a drive through in my car, I like to turn it off because I don't want to have to struggle to hear the other person and them hear me. You know, I'd rather just get it done with as soon as possible and get going they kind of took a while with our food and so we were waiting in the drive through for a cool minute the way it's set up is kind of like just a wall and then it's the top roof and then it's finally open on this other side so it's kind of closed in at a certain angle i'm noticing that the smoke is accumulating like a bunch like it looks like somebody's hotboxing the drive through there was a smoke coming off of it as well so i decided to just turn it off again so that way you know i would prevent anything catching in flames or anything crazy happening finally the car in front of me moves out gets the food dips out i get my food Food and we're going back to the crib as we're going back to the crib it's still smoking but it's not like as much as it was in the drive-thru i'm assuming because of the wind and the fact that we were moving so i make a right to get into my neighborhood and as soon as we get to my crib i'm about to make another right to go up the driveway and out of nowhere my car just stutters and turns off on me and i'm kind of like bro like ain't no way you know like i just fixed the inner and outer tie rods ain't no way this is really happening thankfully though i was already in front of my house literally up the driveway like all i needed to do was just put it in the garage and park it up so it wasn't that bad you know i was counting my blessings but even then i was like damn like this was the last thing i wanted to happen whatever we end up calling it a night because we were tired and hungry so we end up just saying we'll deal with it tomorrow and tomorrow came along you feel me i ended up going to AutoZone. i ended up swapping the battery that i have thankfully about two years ago i had to get a new battery and i decided to invest a little bit of money and i got the dirt last gold so with their last gold i'm able to go to AutoZone and basically just exchange it for a whole new battery under the warranty that was a dub you feel me the reason why i got the battery was just to x out any possibility if the car is not turning on or it's turning off obviously it's a power issue right maybe it's the battery maybe a faulty battery you know who knows like you just want to x out the smallest possibilities the easiest fixes first till you get to the actual you know bigger issues i guess whatever it's been two years cool i get a new battery finally get home i start up the car and my brother takes off one of the terminals and once he takes it off the car shuts off again i'm not a mechanic i'm not an expert but usually if you start up the car and you unhook one of the terminals 
if the car shuts off, it's more than likely you're out in it. If it stays on, then probably something else causing the issue. The reason as to why is because the alternator is basically charging the battery as you're driving. That's kind of the point of the alternator. So if the battery is in charge, the first suspect is for sure the alternator, you know, because it's obviously not doing its job. I'm pretty certain that it's the alternator. My brother's pretty certain that it's the alternator. Now it's just, we gotta get time to fix it. I haven't been able to work on it just because I've been busy with streaming for you guys, uploading, and also we went to Disneyland a couple of days ago. So we've been having some fun. I'm trying to get to it. So hopefully you guys are patient with me. Just had a little hiccup before even recording this. This video so hopefully you guys just stay with me um i got a lot of things planned i am bummed out about the whole car thing but at the same time the only thing this means really is just that there's more content coming for you guys so as long as you guys are looking forward to it and you guys keep tapping in and showing love it makes it all worth it to be honest if you haven't already just make sure to subscribe car content coming soon is just Gotta, you know, gotta get there, let the process do its thing. If you haven't, turn on post notifications as well. I go live with the homies every now and then. We hop on the finals. It's a brand new game. It's basically Call of Duty on crack. It's fun as fuck. So if you guys wanna go check that out, make sure to turn on the bell notifications so that way you guys can get notified when I go live. I'm also starting to do this whole new like series where I'm replaying the Assassin's Creed games. It's like games I've never played before, or just games that I wanna replay. I'm deciding to just live stream it because why not? So if you guys are interested in that, in like walkthroughs and all that, come through, be nothing but chill vibe you know sometimes making fun of the characters or whatever but <laughs> hopefully you guys are having a good one like i said this is the part two i'm not gonna count the other video because that was just kind of more or less a filler but this is part two of the civic build part three is us gonna be going in that hood making sure that it's the alternator taking it out putting in a new one and calling it a day you feel me i got more things planned so a lot of things coming shit can happen but it's all right bro. gotta keep it pushing forward appreciate every single one of you guys for tapping in for the people tapping into the live streams tapping into the videos all that stuff i also just posted a music video too so if you haven't checked that out make sure to go check that out It'll be somewhere up here appreciate all you guys for tapping in like subscribe and share and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace